Hey Aquarius, this is Nikki. I'm here for your weekly reading. I hope it resonates. Take what you need and leave the rest. March to the beat of your own drum. Just listen to the beat of mine. We're starting with the Seven of Wands. The Lovers. What's going on here for the Aquarius, please, dear guides? The Four of Pentacles. Holding on to... Holding on for dear life to this person that you love, or you're holding on to your feelings for him or her. Bottom of the deck, we have the two of wands. Maybe you're waiting for this person to come back to you. To six of the six of pentacles. What else is going on, please, for the collective of Aquarius? The two of swords. Overall energy, please. Overall energy for the Aquarius. And we have the Emperor. Okay, the Emperor. All right. Maybe you're protecting your heart from this person. Um, this Emperor is more than likely you care for this person, or it could be an Emperor, whatever side you roll with. Okay, it doesn't really uh, matter the the sex of the person but you still have this person in your heart you care about this person you are very much in love with this person but for whatever reason it doesn't seem like there's a lot of a lot of equal give and take here and you're wondering should you stay or should you go why am I still sticking around for this person I'm not really sure if this person feels the same way about me okay so your emperor may just be looking in a different direction and we have the king of swords okay this person does feel connected to you in, in a sense, okay? You're thinking about this person, you care, you love this person tremendously, and you're wondering, I think this person have already left, and you're wondering, are they coming back? You're, it's like you're patiently waiting for this person to come back. But this person is looking in a different direction. The universe wants you to, to not look for this person to come back because this person... Uh, seems to be looking in a different direction, not even looking toward what you may want. We have the King of Swords. So this person may have already cut you out of their lives. And that may be a hurtful thing for you to hear. But the universe is saying, don't wait for him. Don't wait for her. Okay? Don't, don't, don't waste your time waiting and holding on to something that's not meant to be. We have the World Card. This is you uh, moving on with your life, getting on with what you plan to do with your life you know we got the nine of cups okay clarified by the lovers and the bottom of the deck we have the eight of wands okay you can do better you have you have the opportunity of falling in love with somebody who wants you who will feel equal this will be an equal give and take relationship but the universe is saying you're wasting your time hoping wishing and praying for this person to give you equal what you've given them it's not by half okay it's don't bank on this person to come back uh, don't be blinded by your own truth. You already know this. Three of Swords. You're hurting. You're hurting. Your heart is hurting. I understand. I understand. But take the leap. Take the leap of faith and fall back and let the universe catch you. Okay. It's time for you to let go. It's time for you to move on. We got the Page of Wands here. Throw in the towel and let this person go. Okay. This. You know. You're being destined for someone else. You got the Ten of Cups, but I also have. The nine of pentacles. So your divinity, your your everything about you, is is growing stronger, or at least it should. You should you should be at a different point in your life when it comes to loving this person than you have been, because you're you're a dreamer. I'm wondering if this person will come back. How will it be if we get back together, male or female, whatever side you roll on? You want happiness. You want two point two kids, a house, and a dog. It's not going to happen, not with this person. You keep on reaching for the stars. You may think that you want this person, but the universe wants you to keep reaching. Fly like an eagle. You know, find that right. Let this person find you the right one, find you. You haven't met this person yet, okay? The universe is guiding you to the person. All you got to do is reach out and grab, okay? Reach out and grab and allow the universe to introduce you to your man or your woman, okay? But it's not this person. You got wish fulfillment because that, that's one that's being communicated to you clearly, but you're still holding on to shoulda, coulda, woulda, second chances, chances, third chances, 15th chance, or whatever it is. Holding on to something, to someone that doesn't want you in their life. It's time for you to let them go. 
You can do better. You're crying over spilled milk. You're still hurt because of what this person did to you or how they treated you, but you still love them. And you're still hoping that they will come back. you got to find a way to let go, okay? Let go with the Six of Swords. And then we got the Knight of Pentacles. Allow the universe to introduce you to your mate. It may be a struggle, okay, for you to get over this person with this Ten of Wands because you probably never loved like this before, but you deserve better. You pack your shit and you leave this person in the past, okay? Don't take this baggage into a new relationship because of what you've been through before. You've got the Four of Swords. You're hurting and you're doing a lot of soul searching and resting and reflecting. That's fine, but don't stay stuck here forever because you're going to allow that love to pass you by because you're still holding on to this big broken heart. You've got the Three of Swords and the Four of Swords. You're still holding on. You're still thinking about this person. For some reason, you can't let this person's energy go. You can't let this person's so-called love for you you can't let it go, but his or her love is not there for you. They moved on with their life, and you need to move on with yours. You got to let it go. You can't keep on holding on to this broken heart, or you'll never find true love. You'll never find your place in this world, okay? Got to let them go. Messages, please, for Aquarius. King of Wands, to find your strength in Chariot. It's like once you let go of this person who no longer wants you in their life, You'll find your king, you'll find your queen, and they will sweep you off into your destiny. But you've got to allow yourself to love again and feel again and allow somebody good to come into your life. Allow your destiny to come into your life because the person you think you, you are going to end up with is not the person God wants you to be with. It's just not going to happen your way. It's going to happen God's way. You just got to pull up your big girl panties or your big boy whatever bloomers or whatever you want to call them and move on with your life and let that person go so the real true essence of who you are can shine through so that your destiny can see you coming his or her way okay i hope this message resonates aquarius thank you so much